hopefully in this segment regarding Jean-Paul, they ask the mother what the name is of the current wife of, of Jean Philippe or whatever his name is, Lacombe. We, we'd like to get the name so everybody can help this woman. I mean, I think really Mad Dog Chapman and uh, one of these other high profile bounty hunters, Curtis Lewa, shouldn't they get involved? I mean, we've got to find this guy. Well, there's no question yes, they, I, they I, would I, have I the opportunity to do that. that I, I can do that I can that I need that I can get sorry I need all the help that I can get Help and dog got it we made it happen dog joins us live from Hawaii tonight and just a little recap and review a dog gained international fame when he tracked down Andrew Luster in Mexico and now we're gonna get his help in this case of this little boy who was abducted from a bus stop with the help of police in Texas. Okay, Texas police facilitated this kidnapping by dragging this poor kid off the bus when his father presented, presented phony documents to law enforcement and to the court saying, hey, I've got custody of this kid. It turned out he didn't have custody, he was lying. He was holding up documents that were written in Spanish that actually said, uh, you're wanted for arrest in Mexico. Now they could be anywhere. And uh, we're going to solve this case. Harold in Delaware, your question or thoughts, sir? Uh, yes, um, the, the cops should know uh, what's going on with, with the papers, and they should let Dog do his chairman and say, make it find the little boy. Yeah. He can't go into Mexico. Dog should get involved. And, and he said he's going to help this mom, and we appreciate him coming here to, uh, to talk about all this. Uh, let's watch this harrowing video of the 10-year-old boy being forced off the bus by cops. I'd love to get your reaction, dog, on the other side to this. Okay, here's my second big issue. There needs to be an investigation, dog, into how this all went down. This guy came into town. He hired a couple of lawyers who have been exonerated of any wrongdoing, but there were reports that they were paid a lot of money. Uh, they go to the court. They hand this phony document to the judge. The judge issues an order. The cops go there and drag this poor kid off the bus. He was lying on the ground begging them not to be put in his father's hands, and they completely ignored him, even though he said, my father hits me. Dog, your reaction? Well, you know, two reactions. You have to realize the cops had a warrant in their hand. It's like, how many times have we heard someone has been arrested falsely? That's exactly what it was kind of like. When the cop has a warrant, he's bound, swore, he has to do his civil duty, which is take the baby into custody. Go back to the lawyers that perpetrated the scam on the court and, and throw them in jail. Well, they've been exonerated. The Here's what I don't get, and How maybe Ronald be? Broad could weigh in on this. Apparently, there's been an investigation, and those attorneys have been exonerated of any wrongdoing, and they've hired their own attorney. And the judge is also saying, oh, oh I did nothing wrong. Yeah. Well, the judge the judge made a mistake, but it's hard to get a judge to say that. The judge made a mistake. You know, you know, I've been through the Mexican courts and the American courts with different documents coming. There's a big gold seal when it comes from Mexico. Then even though my judge, Judge Kern here in the United States, got the copy of the order, he wanted to see one, he wanted to talk to someone in Mexico, it took a couple days to verify these documents over you know and that's this over a child the judge made the mistake but this could help us i mean this kind of obligates the cops to do their duty you know get out there and help find this little boy and one thing again i see the little boy is very vocal this little boy needs to get we need to start saying for him to call his mother uh -huh. i mean it's going to be it, it, i it, hear you that, Donald, that what may do you well make be... of this whole legal i think there needs to be an investigation i don't buy this uh, whole thing about oh God, i made a mistake they could have brought in a translator they could have made a single phone call to find out that this guy had tried to kid had actually kidnapped his son once before just think about what they're saying jane 
The lawyers are saying we followed our client. The judge is saying we followed the lawyer. The sheriffs are saying we followed the judge. Everyone wants to be a follower. No one wants to be a leader. No one wants to take responsibility for causing a parent's worst nightmare. You put your child on a school bus, kiss him goodbye, and you never see him again. Maybe not for a year, maybe not for two years, and maybe never. Does she have a civil action against the powers that be in this principality, this locality in Texas? Uh, in, all, in all likelihood, she doesn't. Her concern today is not who to sue. Her concern is how does she find her, her child? Remember, she's been through this once already. Um, her husband, when they got divorced in 2005, Jean okay. Philippe got custody of the right. child and took abducted him and the child was gone for two years Berenice. she came to the United States for protection what protection did they give her Berenice. everyone needs to take responsibility we are we are we are going to come back in a second on the other side and talk to you about the hell you've been through okay. stay right there the international manhunt continues we're gonna find this kid what is the most important right now is speaking about how to help this mother get her child back. Tips on how to do that. Ask the right questions, especially what this new wife's name is in Russia. Listen to what Dog was trying to say rather than worrying about suing the judges and suing the lawyers. I could give a rat's poop about them right now. What's important is getting the information out about this child, how to find it. Dog has the ability to track from America, but he can't go into Mexico and he's trying to help and he needs the information. Jane just frustrates the living poop out of me.